Speaking of, it is St. Patrick's Day weekend in the Steel City. Over 200,000 people are expected to attend the parade tomorrow. And today, the city of Pittsburgh is finishing up their preparations. And in anticipation of any shenanigans that may follow that parade, Pittsburgh Public Safety is establishing the rules of the weekend. Our Ross Gadotti joins us live with what he's learned. Hey, Ross. Hey, Erica, they're not fooling around either, city officials say. And as you just mentioned, 200,000 plus people will be down in the Pittsburgh area for the St. Patrick Parade and all the frivolity that it involves. Now, the parade route will be as same as it's been in years past. It's going to come down Grand Street, then make that right down Stanwix to its end point. Parade's going to start at 10 o'clock. Also, if you have a car parked along the parade route, Effective 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. If it's still there, it's going to get towed. Now, Pittsburgh police will be focusing special attention on where I am at on the south side. They're going to be joined by several other police agencies. One thing organizers are asking, if you're coming down to party and you're going to use a ride share program, and if you on, are on the south side in particular, you really need to pay attention to the following. Locations for the pickup lanes will be South 18th Street from East Carson Street to Wright's Way and 20 to 26 Bedford Square off of South 12th Street. The goal behind this is to alleviate foot and vehicle traffic on East Carson Street for those wishing to utilize rideshare companies. Simply put, if you're requesting an Uber or a Lyft and you are between the blocks of 1000 East Carson Street to 2100 East Carson Street, you will be directed to either one of these locations. All right, the kickoff point for the parade is actually it's going to be staged along Liberty Avenue. There's a large part of Liberty Avenue that's going to be shut down as well. You need to pay attention to that as well. And finally, organizers are saying if you are coming down to the parade, remember this. There's going to be a Penguins game in the afternoon. The Home and Garden Show is still going on. And you're going to have all the people down here for the St. Patrick's Day festivities. If you can, they're asking you to take public transportation to alleviate any and all parking problems. On the south side, Ross Gadotti, KDK TV News.